Hi there, my name is Mrs. Jenkins, and I wanted to talk with you today about operations with fractions. Now we're going to be looking at the four basic operations, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. And I've written out a couple of things you need to remember in each of these operations. First of all, when you're working with addition and subtraction, your denominators have to be the same. You cannot add or subtract the numerators until the denominators are the same. Once they are, then just add or subtract the numerators. Then at the operation of multiplication, often thought to be the easiest with fractions because you can simply multiply numerator times numerator and denominator times denominator. You don't have to have the same denominators when you're multiplying. You can also use the operation of canceling when you're doing multiplying and it will help so that you won't have to reduce later on. The last one we're looking at here is division. And division is easily done like multiplication except with one preliminary step. You have to take the reciprocal of the second fraction and then just multiply the two together. Now we've gone over some of the basics here, but it'll make more sense to you when we do it in an example. And we're going to work with two-thirds and three-fifths. So we'll start by adding and subtracting them. Remember, our denominators have to be the same. When we look at our denominators here, we can see they're not the same. So we have to find the lowest common denominator, which in this case would be 15. So we ask ourselves, what do I multiply 3 by to get 15? And that's 5. So I multiply 2 times 5 as well. Here I need to multiply by 3, so I'll multiply my numerator by 3 also. Now the denominators are the same, so we'll keep the denominator as 15. But we can add the numerators. 10 plus 9 is 19. So our final answer would be 19 fifteenths, or we can write that as a mixed number. 1 and 4 fifteenths. Now let's look at the subtraction. Once again, we don't have a common denominator, and we can find it just like we did in the first example. Why don't you take a minute to work through that problem and subtract the, the, the fractions that we're working with here. When you've gotten your answer, just click Continue at the bottom of the screen. Our fractions will be the same as they were here when we add it. We'll have 10 fifteenths minus 9 fifteenths. The denominator will remain the same, but we'll take 10 minus 9 and get 1. So 1 fifteenth would be our final answer here in the subtraction. Now with the multiplication, we don't need to find a common denominator. We'll just multiply straight across. But before we do that, we can cancel these threes out because they have a factor in common. So now when we multiply, 2 times 1 is 2, and 1 times 5 is 5. So our final answer here is 2 fifths. The last operation is division. And don't forget to take the reciprocal of the second fraction. So we're going to be taking 2 thirds, and we're going to be taking 5 thirds now, and we'll be multiplying. Go ahead and finish that problem up. When you're done again, just click Continue. Multiplying straight across here will give us 10 over 9. And if we write that as a mixed number again, we'll have 1 and 1 ninth. Now I hope this has helped you in better understanding working with operations and fractions. You did good work on those problems, but if you need any more help with your algebra homework, sign up for Nutshell Math and I hope I'll see you there.